settling in to the meditation posture. And I'll just adjust the microphone here. There we go. So when we meditate, we begin by establishing a posture of body and mind. And the posture for the body is upright. We can feel the pressure of the buttocks or the feet on the floor. That grounding Just feeling that experience. And then bringing attention to the spine. Checking to see that the spine is straight. Letting it adjust naturally to an upright position. and allowing it to extend to its full length. One can imagine a thin string pulling up the crown of the head, it's gently letting the spine extend. This forms the central axis of our posture. And we can allow the rest of the body to relax around it. One can imagine the image of a fine cloth draped over a pillar. Just letting all the rest of the tension drain out of the body. No need for it. Just enough to keep this upright posture. The posture of the body forms the basis for the posture of the mind. Just as we cultivate a posture of the body that is both upright and relaxed, we do the same for the mind. We can begin by observing where the mind is now. Is it agitated? Scattered? Dull? Inattentive? Peaceful? Bright? Anticipating. Whatever is going on, just acknowledge. Right now, the mind is like this. This is where we begin from. One of the most helpful tools to cultivate the posture of the mind is mindfulness of breathing. Letting the mind attend to a simple, natural, essential process that's going on all the time.
So we begin by noticing where we feel the breath most distinctly. It could be the nostrils, the throat, the chest, or the belly. Just take a few minutes to observe where it is that we experience the physical sensation of the breath. and where those sensations feel most comfortable. The experience of the in-breath is usually energizing, enlivening, updwelling, brightening. And the experience of the out-breath is settling, sinking, calming, moderating. And we can bring these qualities to the experience of the mind. If the mind is agitated, it can be helpful to pay more attention to the experience of the out-breath with its settling quality. And if the mind is agi and if the mind is dull, it can be more helpful to bring the uh, emphasize the in breath with its brightening quality. And so, for the for the next four or five minutes, let's pay attention to those. Yeah, what the mind needs and how we can provide that with the breath. And if the mind slips off the experience of the breath, just gently bring it back.
Oh. As we pay attention to the breath, we can observe that there is the physical sensation of the breath. Perhaps yeah, the rising and falling of the chest. The expansion and contraction of the belly. The change in temperature at the nostrils. But there is also the energetic experience of the breath. The enlivening quality of the in-breath is not limited to those areas of the body which move when we breathe. With practice, one can train oneself to experience the breath, the energetic experience of the breath in the entire body. So noticing how the entire body energizes with the in-breath and settles with the out-breath. Being aware of the breath in this way brings our attention firmly into the present moment. And it can be quite an enjoyable experience. Simply experiencing what it is to be a body that breathes. We can let stories about the past plans for the future, ideas about who or what I am or what other people are, we can let those fade away. We have some good food for the mind. And we can allow the mind to settle naturally and solidly. The mind chases after the past and future. 
because it isn't truly happy with the experience right now. So by learning to enjoy our breathing, we can remove the impetus for the mind to proliferate. and allow it to settle. To firmly establish itself. In a simple and uncomplicated experience. If the mind wanders, gently bring it back. Noticing if the mind is dull, emphasizing the in-breath, Bringing in energy. If the mind is restless, pay attention to the outbreath. Letting proliferation settle. If the mind is stable, without changing the breath, one can pay it, one can notice the pause between when the in-breath ends 
and the outbreath begins. And when the outbreath ends, and the in-breath begins. Within the activity of the breath, there are these two still points. If the mind is uncomfortable, this is most likely when it's going to run away. But with the mind firmly established in the present, these are the moments of greatest peace. The mind no longer looking to depend on an experience outside itself. If you notice sound, just let the sound be sound. Let it do its thing, and we do ours. As we near the end of the meditation period, it can be helpful to once again assess the state of the mind. Is it more peaceful than when we began? Was there anything that we did during this meditation period that seemed to help settle the mind? The skill of meditation is learning how to respond to the needs of this body and mind. In a way that one can establish the mind in the present, such that it's less reliant on external stimulation 
for its sense of well-being. And now gradually letting the eyes open, taking in the visual world, allowing the mind to just see color, watching how it might want to jump into interpretations. If it does, that's fine. Just notice. This is the experience of seeing. 